started. So well, okay, if you want to start, um, Bans, it's okay with me. Well, we can. You can start your presentation if you want to wait for more people to come along. That's fine. Uh, but anyway, yeah. we are. We, we just started recording, so this is Vance Stevens. I'm Vance Stevens in uh, Malaysia, Penang, Malaysia, and this is the 27th of April, and uh, we are learning together, uh, learningtogether.net, and this is the 455th episode of learningtogether.net, and this month, this special month, we're all in quarantine, or many of us are um, in lockdown. I'm in lockdown until May 12th now. They've the fourth extension, fourth phase. And so um, uh, we're just kind of taking advantage of the time at home to connect with each other. And we call that Talon, teaching and learning and isolation. And this is the 12th of this is the, the dozenth Talon uh, event that we've had. And this is Rita Zayens there with us from Rosario, Argentina. She's gonna to talk to us about Jean. And we also have uh, Teresa Almeida de Cha in, uh, from Portugal and Chris Fry mm -hmm. from Barcelona. And um, here we are. And actually, if you want to wait to start until people come, that's fine. Uh, we can chat. You're just, you're just saying that um, um, this COVID-19 has brought us all together. It really has. It started right. a resurgence, a webhead resurgence. I call it a revival because it's a Sunday revival. Uh -huh. You know, do you get the, the joke, of, you know, about the revivals on Sunday? This, this is what the evangelist events are often called revivals on Sunday, you know, they have religious revivals. So it's a Webhead's revival, weekly Sunday Webhead's revival. That's what we did yesterday. Yeah. Great name. Yeah, and great <laughs> idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. It was Michael, Michael's idea. He said he was feeling a little bit lonely over there um, in Australia. So... Yeah, Down under. Really good. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. Webhead's never gone away. Uh, it's just kind of latent, kind of like a virus. You know, it's <laughs> <way too far>. <laughs> <laughs> you started right. it. <laughs> uh, kind of, yeah. You know, it started in uh, 19... The virus. Yeah, oh, the vi yeah, it could be. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the Webhead's virus. I mean, yeah, yes. Virus. Yeah, that started with uh, Michael Coughlin and uh, Maggie Doty. And mm -hmm. Three of us taught a course in uh, before the turn of the century. We started recording them in 1998. I'm not really sure when we actually started the course. Maybe 1997. I don't know. But we have no records before that date. So 1998 is when I say WebEds in Action started. And that was a course for teaching... Um, English speakers, uh, sorry, uh, non-native English speakers, English, and the mm -hmm. idea of teach them grammar and uh, grammar and writing, I suppose. Grammar and I think it's grammar. Anyway, I don't know. They didn't want to learn grammar. They didn't care less about grammar. They just wanted to meet online and talk, as we found right. out. You know. And that's how we kicked it off. So for a couple of years, we had a course where these people would come and meet every regularly i don't know if i i think it was sunday but um we met regularly online and they sent us stuff we didn't have any facebook or social media back then so uh, we uh they just we just created web pages and put their pictures online whatever they would send me at the beginning they were very hesitant about sending pictures they thought this wasn't really safe it's kind of like uh, one person sends one in, and then you got two, then another two people send them in, and then you got four, and it kind of goes, what's, that, what's next, 16? You get 16 after that. Um, mm -hmm. Anyhow, that kind of, um, it went like that. So pretty soon we had a wall full of pictures, and people were sending their writing, and we were just meeting online and learning English. And uh -huh. Yes, and most of us really met you by mere chance on the web, just uh, browsing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how. Did, oh, well, in 2002, I was asked to uh, do an Electronic Village Online session to model to other teachers. That's what we call Web in Action. So that's 
I set that up in Electronic Village Online and got a nice community together to kick that off. So the that that influx of uh, teachers, teachers' voices suppressed the student voices. And so uh, and, uh, Chris was uh, one of those back then at that time. Uh, so, um, yeah. So, yeah, all of you. And, uh, yeah, so anyway, we kind of went from there. It, it, it no longer had students, really, but we just kind of were learning about communities of practice and um, what we were. We were redefining ourselves, according to Etienne Wenger and his books on communities of practice that seemed to be the, a good model for us. Mm -hmm. So, um, back then, we didn't really know what a community of practice was. Um, so we're, remember Chris Johnson who did the PhD? I did, yes. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I met him in Seattle. I went skiing with him. He took me skiing. Ah, nice. Uh-huh. But thanks. Wasn't that the first group in the late 1990s called Writing for Webheads? Yes. Okay, yeah. right. right. And then it changed to Webheads in Action when we all joined in. Yeah. January yeah. 2002, I That's think. That's correct. Yeah, right? the writing, the writing yeah. webheads group. Well, you know, at that time we were starting to uh, to do online. Uh, we were starting to do. Uh, you could get uh, voice clients and put them in your web page, and then you could uh -huh. speak to people over the voice. It wasn't right. the first. There was something called Powwow that was back then. Uh, ICQ didn't have. A lot of people were using ICQ. For singers, mm -hmm. chat, but powwow was one you could use actually with voice. It it didn't really kick off so much, but this one that we installed, we could install it on our web pages, and you could just hit the web page, and then you could activate the voice, and that turned out to be really popular. And that's what attracted a lot of teachers, because we could then uh, do these synchronous sessions, mm -hmm. and um, so they started getting invited to conferences and things like that and to demonstrate that, and yeah. The rest is history, I suppose. <laughs> we yeah. go a long way. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the things we did back then, so many years, are just fabulous. Mm -hmm. And I think, when, when did we stop these, these regular Sunday sessions? Around, what, six years ago? I was thinking yesterday, talking to a, a smaller group of teachers I belong to. Very small, we're four. Mm -hmm. uh, they were asking me because I said we'd had a, a web has a chat earlier and uh, Judy Thompson, she came by once, I think mm. a couple of years ago. And she asked me, when did we stop meeting regularly? Because she'd never heard about that. Mm. And I said, you know, went back and said, well, uh, I guess about six years ago, something like that. Well, or at least maybe I did. Uh, tapped in was viable up through 2013, I think. Uh huh. And, uh, and you can go to tappedin.org. Is it tappedin? Uh, tappedin.net. I, I think remember. it was .org. Yes, I think. If you go there, still, you, they still have the website up, and you can still read about it and see what happened to it. They got defunded. So I uh -huh. think it was 2013. So yeah, probably. In a, we, we kept going after that. I, now, there's a chat log. One well, no, of those, uh, 2013. Yeah, it could be because in 2000. Yeah, in 2005, 2000, no, 2005, seven and nine, we had the web ads and action online convergences. Right. In 2010, mm -hmm. I started the uh, learning together series. Or actually, actually, we had something. Was it with you, Teresa? The something in 2000. I think it was. Was it on? Um, 2013. 2009 and 2009. Oh, 2009. That's where learning uh, together started. Don't really remember. 2013, I remember as the last year of becoming a webhead, and we celebrated the 10 years of mm -hmm. of ball, right? But Vance, at the time after tapped in uh, closed, uh, we were already talking in Blackboard, right? The 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 platform that um, collaborate Jonathan yeah yeah, yeah that's right. Uh -huh. right that became blackboard collaborate right I think it's uh, it started out with it yeah illuminate uh, exactly right yeah, uh -huh. yeah, it was yeah right. learning times yes mm -hmm. fabulous that it's was still fabulous. Viable. you can still have it it's still there I even mm -hmm. I wrote them when, when COVID was starting I thought 
that some people might want to do sessions in in uh, in, in that platform, and because you can have it for unlimited time, uh -huh. you just have to get it working for you. So it works for right. me, but uh, uh -huh. a lot of people will have trouble reaching it. But anyway, they told me, yeah, no plans to take it away from you. You, you know, as far as we're just leaving right. it alone, we're just leaving it there. So um, uh, it seems to still and there be was this. There was this other platform that Andy Pinkon um, yeah. shared with us. I yeah. forget the name. Yeah, but yeah. we used it quite a lot. Um, it might be at the uh, PB Webheads, uh, sorry, the uh, Learning Together at PBWorks.com uh -huh. site. There, I think there's a mention of that there. There's yep. logos around the websites that. Uh, uh huh. Or maybe in the web, it's an action online convergence websites. And yeah, we could look mm -hmm. at it. I wouldn't want to disturb me to screen share though. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. Yeah, well, no, Rita, why don't you tell us, let's, let's get started because it's uh, 12 minutes after. Okay. We're not, okay, okay. We're not time bound here, but. Um, could you. Okay. Could you yes, Chris. Uh, could you let me in on my mobile as well? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Oh, you my can't. goodness. I've got three people waiting up there. I'm sorry about that. Uh, sometimes <laughs> I get to nattering here. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, um, yeah. So, I mean, they, they, that's to protect you from Zoom bombers. Exactly. Yeah, very good idea. You told us about it yeah. it's, it's on Sunday. That, but if you, if you have one, if one comes to your session, then you need a place to put them. It's kind of a, like a, a virus chest, you know, that's... Uh, so you know you can stick them there and they can't get out of it so they'll they'll certainly leave you alone after that it's like a prison here yeah kind of like a little box you, people come into the box and they you bring them into the chat it's it's set up for if you if you had a bunch of people joining you and you wanted to meet with this group and you could send the other ones over to the to the waiting room and then rotate them you know so um if you didn't want to uh, set up breakout rooms, which you can also do. Mm -hmm. But that okay. seems to be the anecdote for any troublemakers, if you happen to have them. And apparently it's not right. totally safe to put your uh, your links, your passwords out on that. Facebook, which you kind of have to do. So anyway, sorry, Heike and Susanna and, um, Hi. and Chris on your mobile. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so we, we sort of kept you guys waiting. That's okay. We were waiting for you anyway. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Rita is only now getting started. So. Uh, okay, okay. If you want me to start right now, I will. Sure, why not? Okay. Well, good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. And thank you very much for being listening to me about Jing. I think that we are very many the ones who really love Jing. So this is why I've chosen this uh, Jing to present today and share with you the changes, the positive changes I believe that uh, Jing is going to go through. So as you all know, Jing is a screencasting computer program that takes a picture or video of the user's computer screen and uploads it to the web computer or clipboard. Could, um, should we ask who, who uses Zing and uh, who uses Jing in this? Uh, I use Jing. Anybody else here? Not Nina, anymore. Nina said she did and Lane also. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, do Chris, you, uh, Chris, do you use, uh, do you use Jing, Chris? I, I have used it, but I haven't used it for quite a while. I've used um, other things like mm, screen something. Castomatic. Screen Castomatic yeah. or screen yeah, Castify. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we know that if uploaded to the web, the program automatically creates a URL to the image that can be shared with others. And um, it allows you to instantly capture images and videos, then share them from your computer to anybody, anywhere. That is, you snap a picture of your computer screen or record video of on-screen action. 
and you can quickly put in highlights, text boxes, and arrows right when you made a capture. Most tools allow for these features, but not as seamlessly as Jim does. And perhaps many of you have already heard about the imminent Adobe's plan to retire Flash at the end of 2020. Text Surging's current video format, Swift, will no longer be supported by web browsers. But there will be positive changes, I believe. Uh, Jim now allows users to record videos or images from their desktop. The images and videos can be pushed to screencast where users can share them with friends, family, or colleagues. Yet Jing will go in running for screen capture. So let's go through what it is to me one of the most useful tools for making presentations. This is, in fact, the tool I've used today and the, the tool I always use to make presentations. So I cannot do without it. Uh, so here is an image of um, Jing. Uh, and uh, the URL where you should go to download the tool as well as a tutorial. In a nutshell, you just install Jing, you see a sun at the top of your screen, you can mouse over the sun and three little, little rays will appear. If you click on the one on your left, that is the bubble that stands for capturing and uh, where you can select an area on your screen to copy an image or a video, or you can choose to narrate your video in addition to capturing the action on the screen. And we should remember that videos are limited to five minutes in length for Jing, which I find quite okay, because maybe uh, videos which are longer than five minutes are really a little bit of a pain. I don't know whether you agree with me. <laughs> Uh, Rita, if you want to back off your mic a little bit, because you're speaking right on top of it and it's making a lot of puffs of air and things like that. It's perfectly yeah. legible, no problem. I just, yeah, just that you were holding it right like this and you're, and I don't know if you can hear the difference. Anyway. Okay, see, so now it's a little bit better. Uh, now it's quieter. Maybe intermediate, bring it, bring it closer, but not quite on top of it, right? Not, not next to your mouth. Okay, now yeah, that's better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Vans. So uh, when you click on the little sun, which is seems to be hidden up your screen, three rays will come out, and uh, we'll see that uh, if you click on the one on your left, that will allow you to capture your screen. And clicking on that capture, you will get a kind of image like this, which, which has different kinds of uh, icons. If we go to the ones at the bottom of your image, you will see that you have two icons which are alike. And those stand for sharing via screencast uh, with your URL. And the one on your uh, right, will be the one that allows you to share via screencast, but providing you um, a code to embed it mm -hmm. into your blog. And then the two in the middle stand for, you know, saving and copying uh, the, the image. Uh, if you save it, you can save it to any, any folder in your computer, or you can copy it. And that is what exactly I do, uh, what I do that is, copying the image and pasting it directly onto my PowerPoint. And then you can give it a name and or choose to edit, edit the image in Snagit if you've got it. If not, it's a paid tool also offered by TechSmith. Now, if you go, if you want to know what the other icons on your left stand for, well, uh, if you choose the arrow, that's um, to select or maybe point to a part of your image that you want to say something about. Then you have the text, the frame, the highlight um, image, which allows you to, well, highlight anything like language tools. That's the, those are the words that I highlighted for you to know what it does. 
and then you can change the color of your tool and uh, well mainly you have red blue green yellow the basic colors and then you can uh, undo or redo whatever you want <clears throat> and um, well to embellish your image and you give it a file name but remember please that what you will get is a PNG file. In this case, it's not that bad, as in the case of a video, which I'm going to speak about in a minute, because a PNG file is recognized by most um, computers and devices. The problem is with video so far. So when you click on the second icon on your left, or at the bottom, yes, uh, um, second, uh, starting from your left, that's a capture in video image or icon. And uh, after a three, two, one countdown, you will be able to record your screen. And you have the timeline there and all the icons st standing for restarting your video, muting and muting, pausing or stopping your video and start it again. And once you've got it ready, you can. Uh, save it and uh, yes so far it saves your video with a swift uh, extension which we need to convert if you want to send it because it's really a difficult file to watch but there are some tools online to to convert it anyway you'll see a change today I mean now with the advent of the new tool so the video options are, <clears throat> excuse me, the possibility of deleting, sharing, and viewing your video. The bubble on the, in the center, that is the second uh, ray, stands for history, where you will find the latest captures. And uh, I find this a very useful uh, feature because you can sort your captures by date or file size as well as narrow results by choosing to display either all images or all video results and I do use it sometimes and many times in fact because sometimes you find that you and you remember that you have you have used uh, an image or a video which you might reuse or need again so you go back to it in the history and you'll find it and you can even um, maybe change it change it a, a little bit and use it again any questions so far no questions oh, great very okay. very clear okay so uh, back in, well I chose to uh, give you a screenshot of this which is comes in handy because there are some tips there and uh, One of the tips says that we should be keeping the presentation short between three and seven minutes and I agree with that That's why I said that five minutes to me are quite enough um, Maybe it's a good thing to remember that we should treat our our the arrow as a pointer as the way I've done it now with this image and uh, another tip is using a large font size, which is good. And then we know that we can go beyond text by including images, videos, and websites. And then we have another icon on the um, right, which is the, the last icon that we have the mo at the moment, to get an embed code to use to embed the video uh, in our blog and we can customize the gene buttons uh, to insert the video into YouTube Twitter or Flickr or just copy it as I said before uh, there is something which I wanted to highlight and it's um, that this screencast embed uh, symbol or icon that you've got at the bottom stands for just that and uh, um, well giving providing the the embed code which is not an easy thing to do but well i haven't used it uh, um, ever have you 
Has anybody used the screencast embed code? Because it takes some uh, steps. Haven't used it. Have you? Anybody? I don't remember using it, I mean. Yeah, well, I haven't used it, but it is a possibility. Uh, yet you have to follow several steps, and I think it's not quite uh, user-friendly. So let's leave it like that. You'll see that the new version brings along something which is better than that. And uh, once the capture is sent, <clears throat> you are told that it's been sent. And the, I mean, the embed code is ready to be pasted. So I still have the third bubble to talk about, which is the one on your right. If you look at the image uh, mm -hmm. from your computer, I mean, uh, sitting at your computer, and uh, where you have the settings, the possibility of um, having get, or getting some help on the question mark and um, something I wanted to show you uh, this is video format Swift want more options well this is really Hobson's choice because the, the other option is getting Camtasia which is paid mm -hmm. so there are no options there in fact but you will have you will see there are some options now so again <clears throat> summarizing uh, Gene for screencasts. You record what you see and do. You select any window or region of your screen to record. Gene will capture everything that happens in that area, from simple mouse movements to a fully narrated tutorial. You will share your Swift videos with anybody. And Jing, well, Jing videos are limited to five minutes, and you can instantly share Jing videos on screencast.com, Flickr, Twitter, Facebook. Any questions? Great. Now the pedagogical, the pedagogical side of it. What can we do with Jing? Well, we can give feedback to our students. We can get students to do speaking activities, allowing them to know how it works. And we can get them to add comments to videos and pictures. For example, you can tell them to record tutorials of what they are very good at doing. Maybe if they are good at cooking or knitting or explaining how to do something, anything they do, they know, or maybe recording a tutorial of, a, of uh, any tool they know how to manage, or they know they use. We can use it for vocabulary or speaking activities. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we may give students a list of words, maybe related to each other or from a text, and record a video explaining meanings of words or pronunciation. We can assign a speaking task, which could be done individually or in pairs for the students to record it using highlighted words. For example, they can talk about a sport, they, they practice and use three or four of the words included. <clears throat> or we can send them two or three pictures and ask the students to describe and compare them. And I find this a very useful activity for students who are sitting for the first certificate exam, where they have to compare and contrast images, remember. So this could be a good practice for students to record and send them to you and you can provide feedback on that. Students can work in pairs on a picture, building up a story, for example, asking and an answering questions or describing the picture, maybe of a picture of themselves uh, when they were kids and telling a story. So they can provide a, a photo, record a description and send a link to you, put it up in their class, uh, their class blog or Google Classroom. We can even use it for grammar work. If we have spotted a general mistake, we can record an explanation once we have put them up and highlighted them in context to refer to them when speaking. We can provide examples of wrong use of uh, grammatical structures, for example, the difference between although and however. And we can even use it for more of um, activities, maybe allowing them to um, make interviews using their cameras or read it aloud and practicing that. <clears throat> and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, 
This idea was developed by Russell Stannard, and uh, I really love it. We can give feedback on student writing, and they will be able to get listening practice and uh, individualized feedback on their writing. Of course, this takes a lot less time than writing comments, so we can highlight the word if we just uh, put the, um, the, the task on the screen or just take a photo of it, and we highlight the mistake they've made, and then talk about it, just, just very easy and quick possibility. Which are the disadvantages, the cons of Jig so far? But it lacks some features because we can't record, for example, from our webcam. We can't annotate our videos. It has, for some people, significant limitations because we can't record for more than five minutes. It only publishes videos in Swift format, and this I do find as a disadvantage. But we can convert, as I said before, convert the videos into the MP3 format from our computer, iPhone or Android, provided we find the right tool. What now? Well, now Adobe plans to retire Flash at the end of 2020. Um, Swift will no longer be supported by web browsers. I don't know whether it is a fortunate decision or not, but anyhow, we'll need to find a different option. And uh, the replacement tool rolled out in phases will be called Text Smith Capture, which has already been rolled out. I mean, the first part of it at least. And what can we do? It offers a number of features. It's a new modernized video capture, including longer video recording, as well as webcam and system audio recording. We can share your screencast or our image to screencast directly or to te a TechSmith Relay account, which is a paid video creation and sharing platform, which is, you know, as it is paid, I don't think it's quite uh, advisable. But anyhow, we are not ready to pay. We have the free version, which is enough. And the thing which I said to you already, and I really love is the possibility of, um, having the output to an MP3, MP4 um, extension. And for screenshots, Capture, the new name, offers full screen and regional image capture, the ability to share screenshots to TechSmith cloud services such as Screencast, as well as save, to, save the image to your local drive or copy and paste it into a document. And we do have those simple image annotation tools, including the arrow, the rectangle, the highlighter, and a call out, which is the, 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 the text version of the old um, Jing with font face and size control. So this is the way it looks. We can, uh, in fact, uh, download uh, the tool from Chrome, Internet Explorer, or Firefox. The only difference is that you'll get the icon uh, at the bottom of your page uh, if you're using Chrome or Internet Explorer, and at the top if you've uh, got Firefox and you're using that browser. And this is the list of icons that you'll get. There are some changes. Uh, color arrow are the same. Instead of the T for text, we'll, we'll have a, a call out. And then the shape, highlight, and do redo options are there. And uh, you have there at the bottom, I highlighted cancel, copy, save, and upload it directly to screencast. And once you click on the little uh, image that is no longer uh, sun, but a rec kind of um, it's not a geometrical figure, you have a square, and inside, <clears throat> I guess it's a kind of clover that you have. Anyway, the only thing in common is that it's yellow. So you'll get that at the bottom of your screen. I'll show you when uh, I finish this presentation where it stands, where it, where it is. And you click on capture. And uh, 
just from the start, you'll get the possibility of using your webcam, I mean, selecting webcam, yes or no. And uh, once you capture your image, you'll have this option, continue editing if you want to. You have there the call out um, directly the, the possibility of writing where you, what you want, the highlighting, uh, both Internet Explorer and in Chrome and upload it uh, to screencast. And you'll also get the sharing possibility that you can share the URL, you can copy it, you can embed uh, you, you get the embed code and you, you also get um, the email that is uh, you can send the email to invite people to view your content and <clears throat> signing in to screencast you get the launched recording recorder button uh, when you um, click on that so the launch website opens, and if a prompt appears, you need to allow your computer to open the application. And um, if you are unable to launch TechSmith Square um, Capture, you click the download and install it before, and then you'll be able to do it. And then the capture dialog appears, and you can select your recording settings, that is, if you want to record the full screen or some area of it, or if you want to use your own audio recording device or change it, you can select the connected camera device, whether it's off or on, and uh, will help show where the action occurs. You can choose yes or no, and then click on capture. And uh, I like this possibility, possibility of adjusting the size of the selection there. So that's a new thing also, which I guess I didn't have, why we don't have in the, the old version. Then we can choose to allow our camera or microphone to work or not. And if previously enabled, you need to click the webcam button during the recording to switch between screen and camera. That's a good addition. And of course, this goes as far as we speak about the free version, which allows us to get two gigabytes of storage, two gigabytes of monthly bandwidth for privacy options, and we can store it and the system will store it uh, for 12 months. But if we want more, well, we can just pay. Uh, I'm not ready to pay, so to me this is more than enough. I don't know whether it looks like enough for you as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, if you got Jingle already, you'll get the email updates on progress as soon as they come out. So you don't need to go to the web unless you really want to. Uh, get all the, the 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 new features in advance so well thank you very much this is all unless you have any questions for me to answer and we'll be glad to uh, answer them if I can great Retina enjoyed it thank you thank you for listening Teresinha and I'll be leaving in a while in a while because it's lunchtime here okay oh yeah Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. So, again, thank you very much, everybody. Welcome. It was my uh, pleasure. And um, Vance for hosting the event, as usual. And I think that Chris is still there. Don't have my camera on, so I can't see who is in. And uh, anyway, uh, see you next time. Oh, well, hang on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was uh, I was looking at the at my Jing button. I even made a recording and saved. I couldn't find a place where you could copy into the. I mean, in my toolbar, I don't get any. I mean, I can save it to the web, or I can save it to disk, or I can. But I can't make a copy and paste it into a PowerPoint. Is oh, why is that? Ah, okay. I don't know. Well, if you are just uh, yeah, where well, I am still sharing my 
my mm -hmm. screens. Yes, so you will see that. I, can you see that I'm clicking on the sun that stands uh, up my screen? There you've you've got. If you choose this, I'm just clicking on the first one on the left. On the That's the left. first ray, and you will see now but that there it. is. Does anybody else see it? You need to click on the sun because the sun comes out, but ha just part of it comes out, unless you have not downloaded it. You see it's on the left. Is it on the on your screen? Is it top left or bottom left or mid left? Or? Uh, what do you mean, hmm? the, the the sun? Yeah, when you're clicking on the sun, we're, we you're sharing your screen. We see a PowerPoint. We see a PowerPoint window. Maybe you're not sharing your entire screen. Are you sharing? Just uh, maybe, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but do I have that chance? Do I have the possibility of sharing the entire screen? Yeah, you could stop. stop the share. And then when you restart it, you can share your entire screen, your entire desktop. Ah, oh, I don't know that. So well, I could show you mine if you want. I can, you can maybe talk me through it. More, let me see what I, what I have. Share. Mm -hmm. You have to stop the share because you're going to have to restart. Okay, I, I'm mm -hmm. stopped sharing. Yes, I have stopped sharing now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then if you restart the share, you can yeah. select uh, your desktop instead of the just one window. Ah, okay. Share. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't I can share computer sound, optimize screen sharing. I can't see that option. Uh, let me see if I if I look at mine, let's see what it says. It says uh, yes, yeah, so the screen. Yeah, I, I can share the entire screen if I want. I don't see the option. Okay, hang on. Let me just share mine and you can tell me. Yeah. Okay, can okay. you see my screen now? Not yet. Okay. Oh, here we go. I found my little son. Can you see my son? Yeah. Okay. So, what should I click on now to the the capture? No, that one. That one. Yes. Capture. Okay. okay. So if I click on a capture, I just capture it yeah. here. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, capture it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, here's a copy. Ah, I see. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I learned something from you. <laughs> okay. Okay. We all this is learning together. We learn from each other. Yeah, this. definitely. I never noticed that before. Okay, so there's a copy. So yeah. I've always used the share to screencast.com and save to disk, but I've never thought to make a copy. I don't know why I didn't see that before. But anyway, that's nice. That's why we're together here. Let me let me stop that share, so you can have okay. it back if you want. Yeah. Okay, which tells me. That is much better to share your screen and show the, I mean, show it yourself than putting it on uh, PowerPoint. Well, I don't know. There are options with PowerPoint. You shared your PowerPoint window, but you can also do a presentation. You can present in that window, and they, your whole the, the PowerPoint would actually. Oh disappear. yeah. 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 But it could be advantages. Sometimes I do that. You, you want to move it to one side or something like that. You want to have. You don't want it to take over your whole screen, so. Okay, I want to show you uh, what the um, the new capture looks like. So mm -hmm. I'm going to share my screen sure. for just okay. a couple of minutes. Great. Mm -hmm. So if you can see mm -hmm. uh, at the bottom of my page, I've got mm -hmm. this square. So I click on that. I. See. Which is you're still just sharing the PowerPoint. Yes, yes, I know. Uh huh. But if I click that capture, uh oh, oh the image. capture on your PowerPoint. Yeah, no, the capture on G. I'm trying to. I'm yeah. I'm but trying that, to share. That will be on the screen, on the big screen. Um. Yes, I know. I know. Uh -huh. Okay. So here oh, it here is. Here we go. I see. Yes. Okay. Okay. I saw it start, yeah. This is what I showed you on my PowerPoint. Uh -huh. So we can capture that. Okay, for some reason, I don't know if other people are seeing it. I'm not seeing it. I can see your mouse moving. 
and I saw a black thing come up. So, but I, I didn't. Can you see that? No, I, I'm not seeing it. I don't know. Other people, anybody else seen it? Black square. So that was it. This is the way it looks when I uh, shade the part of the area of my screen I want to be. Uh huh. Rita, yeah. when you when you share your complete desktop, yeah, then we are able to see it. And uh, to if you could sh stop sharing one more time, I can tell you where to find this. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So to... When I did a share, actually, it was the default. The screen was the default. So, um, can you stop sharing one more time? Now. And now, if you click on share screen and look at that dialog window and at the top left what what does it say select the window on an or an application that you want to share mm -hmm. so a window or an application so the window is now it should say uh can you click on hang on mine said screen should be advanced basic yeah. or advanced is yeah, it, and it, select a window or application you want to share. And the first one, the top left one, what does it say? Next to whiteboard, next to iPhone. The first one at the top left. The screen. That's it. Screen. That's, That's it. the one. Yes. That's the one. Mm -hmm. Sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> I accidentally Thank you clicked on the screen. <laughs> Heike got excited too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sorry. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Didn't mean I to take I over. To... Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't know what you me. meant and what you wanted me to do. In fact, if you could share your screen yeah. again and see, yeah, just, and then show the us screen, how. Then that would. Uh, that would. Then we could see the edges. You, ah. Or just the PowerPoint window, so we couldn't. Okay. See so now you'll be able to. You'll be now able you to click on share. Mm -hmm. You selected it, now you click on share. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. and ah, I've learned something new. But I still see only the PowerPoint window. And uh, if you could open Jing now, see whether it comes up. Can you see it? Now, did you select the top left one, the screen? I have selected. No, okay. stop share is on. Can you minimize the PowerPoint and see whether it's behind that? Okay. This tells us whether you selected the screen or not. <laughs> mm -hmm. It will show us the desktop. No, it didn't. See, you haven't selected the first option, the screen. That's the one we need. You still selected your PowerPoint for some reason. Oh, gosh. I can say. you stop? Can you stop one more time, Rita? Because yeah, you, you keep selecting okay. your PowerPoint in that dialog window, and you have to select the top left. It has to be blue. <laughs> the top okay. left screen. The uh, screen. Uh, yes, <laughs> that's the blue one. The screen, right? It's, the screen is blue. Okay. Do you have two screens or what? No. Ah, okay. now we're seeing your that's desktop. It. That's hey, woohoo, you made it. <laughs> yes. I, I feel like I'm back in Heike's class now. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we're seeing the Zoom, win Zoom window now of the browser. And now you can start Jing and we will see it. Heike's classes are no child left behind. She has wow, Heike, there in the you're, class. You're, so she works with each one but, individually, gets each one up to speed. And then that could take an hour. And then the next hour. <laughs> Heike, you're so good at this. It works really um, well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I'm stuck. I can tell you I'm stuck. Uh, your mouse is moving. Can you find yeah. your son in the left of the screen you said? Okay. All right. If I find this, it's yeah, there, this there one. See? Okay. Ah, oh, got capture, interesting. Huh? I've never seen this one. But okay. that's, the new, ah, okay. that's the new version, right? That's the new That's the new version. Capture. Excellent. That's not the uh, Jing window. That's the. Uh, is that okay, Heike? Is yeah, that what you like, mean? I would like to see how it works. <laughs> okay, all right, perfect. Now I can go ahead. So if I select and I click on capture, 
Okay. Oh, there we are. Okay. Yeah, yeah. we're seeing everything okay. now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, good, good. And then we have the option of, you know, captioning the image uh -huh. or okay. a video. Take a video. Uh -huh. And Adjusting here, the size. Mm -hmm. making it larger or maybe, let uh -huh. me see. The final image. Uh -huh. Ah, but I need to write, I guess. And B. But that means Wait, you're going to actually enlarge the window. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Uh -huh. But you can just drag the window. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, you, yeah. yeah. You might and when you, click, when you click on the photo, the camera, uh, what happens? Do you get the same option like before, the copy option? Ah, there is the copy of. I, I was scared to update my Jing. I was so scared because I love my Jing. You know, I really love that sun. I really love how yeah, easy it works. And I was like, oh, it kept TechSmith kept saying to me that there's this new screens capture software around, and I wasn't. I didn't want to budge in. <laughs> <laughs> Because, let me, and let now me you me. told me how to do it. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> well, well, we've told each other something, so awesome. I've learned. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I just can say that um, it's not the same. Maybe because we got used to the sun, now we no longer have the sun. But anyhow, I think that we'll get used to this. We don't have I, I see awesome. that Chris... Chris put the URL to get Jing in the chat, and below that, I pasted a URL for LightShot. Have you tried LightShot? No. What is that? It's very similar to Jing. Um, uh -huh. It makes it, the nice thing about LightShot is it will it capture the screen pretty much the same as Jing, and it also uploads your image to a web space. To tell you frankly, I'm a little rusty with it. I haven't I haven't tried it in some time, but uh, when I did try it, um, I found it to be very similar to Jing. Mm -hmm. So it's something if you get frustrated with the new Jing, you could go to that one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you could try it out, you know, and see. But it does similar to Jing. It lets you capture a bit of window, and and another one you can use also is the 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 what's it called the snippet tool in windows but snippet does everything that jing does except it doesn't send it to the cloud but there are a lot of capture utilities that will capture things but the the really neat thing about jing is being able to send it up to the cloud so that if you're in a window like we are right now you can say take a screenshot and share it in the chat with everybody here by just sending its uh its url to put it you know, take a, a screenshot of what we're doing now, put it in the in the chat. Maybe I'll just do that just for fun. But anyway, that's that's the really neat thing about Jing. Uh, yeah, it's do good. it quickly. Yeah, I like the MP3, the MP, the MP4 option. I love it because the new one. The, yeah, yeah, with the Swift um, mm -hmm. extension, we were really. Uh, um, it, yeah. it, it, we had to do a lot of work to to convert it. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Here's a screenshot of what we're looking at right now. So that's the nice so thing. I'm going to stop share if you don't mind. You're sharing. You can stop. Can I stop? Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Hi, It's great to be together and learn from each other. Great. You're so good at tutorials. So good. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we're doing, giving each other tutorials. And if anybody else wants to do a tutorial for us, you're quite welcome to do it. Uh, you just go to Talon, uh, that's tinyurl.com slash Talon2020. I couldn't get uh, Talon, so I took Talon2020. And I also use that as the tag. I, I'm not sure if anybody's hitting on that tag. But anyway, basically, if you want, you can present something if you like and uh I, I i hope to keep this going at least through the end of covid lockdowns and i've got it, it's connected with learning together so it's the same okay thing. it's your turn you can show off <laughs> i think it's doing she's uh doing a virtual roundtable may 8th are you 
Whoa. Yes, 8th yeah. eighth and 9th of mm -hmm. May. Mm -hmm. And you're most welcome, Rita. Do you know what we will do uh, if you have time? Yeah? yeah, because you have to show this text myth, yeah? Um, on, the, on the Friday, the 8th of May, in the evening, it's 4.30 GMT, which will be your time, I don't know what time, but 4.30 GMT. It'll be 12.30 in the afternoon for her. Yeah. So can you tell me the URL or something for me to go to? Sure. But uh, what we will do there is we will do what's known as a show and tell session. Oh, where great. people Where people can show and tell their favorite tools in a matter of five to ten minutes. You know? Oh, great. Yeah. yeah. And I've experienced a show and tell session like this just on Saturday and I was so excited about it that I said I'll have to do this at the virtual round table. Not be Great, awesome you. if you could. Yeah, of course, I'll, I'll try to. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And can I give you a form to fill in if you wanted to be part of that show and tell session? Okay. And then you simply put your name down and then I know that you want to show. Thank you. Yeah, so this, I will. This is the form. Just yeah. trying to copy and paste all uh, the whole chat log on a document. Oh, Chris, yeah. Chris, I'm hoping that you're also part of it. But Chris, if, please. So if, if you go to the Zoom chat and right click on it, what does it say? Right click on the Zoom chat. What does it say? In, in your Zoom. Sorry? If you right click on the Zoom chat, what yeah, you copy and paste. I, I, that's what I'm doing. Oh, okay. So you can select and all. Select. And select. Yeah, but I'm, I just I want to get the the doc ready to paste it before I forget and before it's lost. <laughs> al also, when you go to learningtogether.net and find the archive for this, I've always included text chat, which has all the URLs in it. So oh yeah, rem I remember. Never so, lose oh. anything. Bless you, Vance. <laughs> that just comes to me. Bless, bless you, right. When I render this, it comes to me automatically. But otherwise, if you right click on the chat, if you're in someone else's session, you right click on the chat, select all, and then you can just let it fill in more and you keep selecting all, select all until you you suspect they're going to stop it, then you just hit copy and it's everything. And, and the thing. There is, however, I, I see a couple of dots in the, do you know where I type the message here? And I can save chat. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, a couple. Of, oh, yeah, that's a. Oh, yeah, okay. Where, where? Save chat. Oh, it's yeah, at the top. Cool. Yeah, save chat. save chat. So you can get the whole thing yeah, right there. Yeah. If that cool. is enabled, it's a function in, in, uh, in Zoom that can be disabled if you don't want it. So if it's enabled, then. Exploring. Yeah, that's even easier. <laughs> so you just. Yeah. So uh, anyway, well, this one will be the thing will come to me automatically and, you know, it, it will end up on my computer with the recording. So yes, I'll, just put it, I'll put recording it in the, automatically. Yeah, I just put it into the, the audio and the video. I put all I put the video on YouTube and I put the audio at the top of the learning. You go to any learning together at net uh, archive and you'll see how it's done. So. I'm sure and Chris, know. Chris and Maha, would you also want to add in a, a show and tell session of 10 minutes, please? <laughs> Anything cool that you want to share? I'll, I'll think about it. Yes, please. <laughs> take that, take that form and think about it, Chris. <laughs> uh, before we leave, I just try to yes, save, please, the Maha. Chat, save the chat and it tells you uh, click here to see which folder it's been saved into. So you have another option. It goes straight into a folder. Good. Hmm. Hi, uh, hi, hi. I will, I will think about something like this as well as I write you back. How are you doing? Good, good. Thank you. <laughs> I just was very, very sad to, because I, I joined the session and then Rita, and then I got a phone call, and then I missed 40, 40, 35 minutes of Rita's presentation. Uh, I was no, not happy. Oh, no, it's all in recording. That's what I'm hoping for. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, it's right at the top of the hour. 
but uh, I'm not in a hurry. But anyway, if you guys want to, uh, how about you, Rita? You want to? Shall we call it a night? I think so. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. Anyway, we are meeting on Sunday, so it's great to know there will be a next one. Uh huh. Yeah. That's right. Every Sunday, Sunday at uh, noon UTC. That's where the noon came from. What I posted. I've just been posting the recording of that one. And when I, at the end of that recording, I at the end of my post to announce the recording of the one that had happened the night, last night, I just said yours was at noon UTC. So I just, as they say in Thailand, I became corn fu. Anyway. <laughs> Um, they don't, uh, some, some people say that in Thailand. So only I, when they become Kung Fu. <laughs> Kung Fu. Yeah. I'm, I'm about to Kung Fu away. <laughs> corn, corn Fu. Yeah. Corn Fu. She, he become Kung Fu. Yeah. Corn Fu. Uh, <laughs> I guess you can figure it out. Okay. Anyway, well, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, thank Maha, you, Rita. Heike, Chris, thank you Rita, all. Tara. Thank you. Thank you very may much. Not, may not be there. Oh, she had to leave. She's going to lunch. She went to lunch. So, um, okay. Well, thank you very much for coming. And this has been Learning Together, episode 455 already. And the 27th of April, 2020. And uh, it's our 12th. We just finished our 12th Talon adventure. So, um, hope to see you. Uh, check uh, learningtogether.net for, uh, or actually it was learningtogether.pvworks.com where you can find the, everything that's coming up or Talon, uh, tinyurl.com slash Talon2020. That also tells you what's on the schedule and Heike's events are there in both places. So, okay. okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. See you. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you very Bye -bye. much. Bye. See you. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye.